Good morning, guys. What's going on? I am out for a walk with Demise. It is an early morning on a Saturday. I don't really have plans today. I'm gonna do what I've been doing since being on maternity leave, which started about a week and a half ago, and that is uh, go to a Target. I'm probably gonna go to a, like a TJ Maxx and maybe a mall. <laughs> My husband has been fishing like crazy because it is so stunning out. He's been running charters pretty much every day doing his job and we miss him dearly. But um, so I have to like keep myself busy during the day. I am 39 and some days pregnant. That is the update. Soups prags. So I think we'll go get this show on the road. What do you think, Mies? Let's go. Quick baby update. I am 39 weeks pregnant, like I said. I've been on maternity leave um, starting at 38 weeks. The firm that I work for, PricewaterhouseCoopers, AKA PWC, provides two weeks of short-term disability leading up to your due date, which is May 9th. So I've enjoyed some time off to relax, to spend with Namise, hey Mies and to kind of like really get things in order. We have officially finished pretty much the nursery. It doesn't have anything on the walls yet, but it's kind of like all coming together, poncho sign. Even though his real name is not poncho, it's, um, it's really stuck. Today's Cinco de Mayo and we keep calling it Cinco de Poncho. Like this will be the day that he decides to arrive. Uh, but so far it doesn't really, feel like anything's happening out of the ordinary. Still four days before my due date and I actually have an appointment on Monday to go back and discuss like getting induced or something like that. Um, just cause he's measuring a little bit large and in charge. The theme is like kind of woodsy or like a lumberjack-ish, I guess. I don't know. And it's just been so fun. Anyone who's a new mom and really probably anyone who wants to have kids someday can understand when you start like like doing all these things and you're like gosh like this stuff is so little like these little outfits ah, it's just so cute and like look at this little rolling stones onesie oh i just um I'm throwing stuff on the ground. It gets so real and everything's cute and I just wanna buy him the whole dang world. Look at this raccoon. <laughs> Stop, little wanderer, little crib stuff. I mean, ugh, and I can't wait to get the stuff on the walls, this stuff. Obviously, I need Brian's help and he's been so busy. So that's his goal, he has the next two days off and he's like, I'm going to help you get everything on the walls in the nursery. And I was like, okay, because I need it. I need some help. But yeah, so that's kind of his little domain, even though he'll be in our room to start. And please don't judge my room right now because I'm, the sheets are in the wash. So it's just like, you know, a bed with no sheets on it. It's happening. But we also have a rock and play and a pack and play in here for him. And we'll just kind of feel it out when he comes home and figure out where he likes to be, like what, what he likes to do. And Nice is gonna be along for the ride. I feel like he, he doesn't know how crazy it's gonna be. Also, these two weeks I've been watching so much Fixer Upper. If you <laughs> follow me on Twitter, I tweeted about it because I just like, like, I don't know, I'm obsessed with Chip and Joanna Gaines. All right, well, I'm getting out of breath from talking, from vlogging and walking around, which is never a good sign. So <laughs> I'm gonna take a little break and uh, we'll head out into the world and go vlog some stuff. We'll catch up before Babe Poncho gets here. <laughs> hey, me. Hi, hi. Well, it is official. I just got back from a doctor's appointment and peacock sheets are where it's at. I'm just kidding. We are getting induced. I am getting induced. Poncho and I are getting induced. I don't know. It, it's happening together. It's happening on Wednesday. So he will probably be here Thursday morning officially. So this is the last vlog where Mies is the baby. You're, this is the last vlog where you're the baby. And then we'll have a real baby. And his name will not be Poncho anymore. He'll have a real name, which we've already decided on. And I just haven't told everybody. 
sorry. It's a mild surprise. Anyways, it's kind of exciting. It's like I have, uh, today's Monday. I have Tuesday, Wednesday, pretty much all day, and then I show up Wednesday night, and we get started, and then he's probably born Thursday morning. Birth. And then... It's only six weeks till I get to work out again. Woo! I actually really do miss going to bar classes and running and I'm excited to do that again. And I really do like my new peacock sheets. They're kind of ridiculous, <laughs> but I love them. Thanks, Target. All right, I think Meese needs to go on a walk or something. <sighs> Meese, <sighs> what are you doing? Are you excited about the baby? Do you want to have a baby? Do you want to go on a walk? I feel like, yeah, walk. <laughs> mies, mies, mies. Mies, mies, mies. Mies, 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 mies. Thank goodness I'm giving birth soon because it's hot. Like, I don't think I would want to be pregnant in Florida summers. Like this pregnant. I don't think I want to ever do, I'm going to try and get the timelines right for the next one too, that it doesn't happen. I went in for one more ultrasound this morning. Everything was good. The baby's in a good spot. There's enough fluid. Everything's good. So we go in tomorrow to get induced and everything's going to be awesome and he's going to come out and it's not going to hurt at all. So I hear, that's what they tell me in the streets. It's going to be perfectly fine. <laughs> No, that's not true. That's definitely not what I've heard. But I think I'm officially going to take this time to go do absolutely nothing important. We're gonna go to Target again. This time I'm gonna take my camera because I keep forgetting it and I'm a terrible vlogger. And we're, we're gonna go, I don't know, just go do some stuff because I'm about to um, not be able to just get up and go do stuff. And my dog's gonna be quiet because this is his last day as an only dog child. How do you feel about that, Mies? You're gonna have a little brother. That's a baby. That's a real baby, not a dog baby, a real baby. How do you feel about them apples? That's so why I was looking at Mies today on the walk and I was like, your world is about to get rocked. <laughs> like Mies sleeps right here, like somewhere above or below the bump currently and he has slept there in that spot for um like five or six years so it's going to be interesting to see my thought is he can still sleep there he just needs to not freak out when i grab the baby to nurse at two o'clock in the morning and then he can still sleep there as long as you just keep sleeping but he's loud and annoying sometimes also so Ah, man, it's gonna be nice to get this baby out and be able to breathe again while I'm talking. All right, let's go do some stuff. Let's go do nothing. I feel like an appropriate place to start is with a car wash. Listen, to Post Malone. My Honda Civic. Can mom still listen to Post Malone? Gosh, I hope so. Target, the best place to go when you don't know where you wanna go and you just wanna go somewhere. Hmm? Yeah and running people over. So I have a ton of clothes for my kid, but all I wanna do is buy more because it's so cute. Such is the dilemma. Also, I don't know what size he is. Oh, and I look terrible. My allergies are killing me. Wish he would hurry up and, well, he's coming tomorrow, but once he gets here, we'll have a better idea of what size he is and then go from there, you know? You feel me? I got a little Chipotle for lunch. I really only wanted chips and guac, so I had to order online and then sit in my car because I don't want to go through the line and just order chips and guac because I feel like that's like embarrassing. Do you, do you guys feel that way? I don't know if that's just me where I'm like, if I don't get like a full meal at Chipotle, I can't just order a side, you know? That's the hard part about that line, whatever. Anyways, maybe I'm overthinking this, probably. You know how Brad Pitt's like always eating in movies? I feel like that should have been my, like my pregnancy vlog MO. Like I'm just like constantly eating. Like how does he get away with that? Like I would feel so rude right now if I just put this chip in my mouth and started eating and talking to you guys at the same time. 
And that's like literally his thing in movies. Like, it is gross. So it's official. We are headed to the hospital. We're, we're going to the hospital. We're going to the hospital. He's coming. So with that, babe, think about it. 18 years from now, it is the night probably before Poncho's 18th birthday. Okay. What what would you want to say? I'd say, Poncho, I'm proud of you. I want you to continue to grow as a man. Pack your shit up and get out of the house. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know either. I, I was thinking about it. I don't know why I was thinking about this today, but I hope that we have done you right and we have raised a good man and that you are go to church every once in a while and that you make us proud. More than every once in a while. At least every once in a while. More than every once in a while. And that you make us proud and that we've done we've made you proud too. I love you and I can't wait to meet you. Okay, I'm getting emotional so we're gonna go and He'll be here. Next video we have, it will have a baby in it. Just so awesome. All right, gotta go by. <laughs>